What's up guys welcome back to code family today we're going to learn how you can update parent component state from child component in react so let's get started this is the increment decrement project which we have done in our previous video if you want to check out it the link is in the description i would explain you this project in short we have created a button for increment another button for decrement and an input field for displaying the value we are having a state called result and its method set result and we are uh, incrementing and decrementing by on click so uh, let's do some changes here let's create a new component inside the source name it as component and click on it now we are going to create the child components so first create create it and name it as increment.jsx don't forget to capitalize the first letter then by using react snippets create the component and then create another child component for decrement button react arrow function component export and now what you going to do is go to app.jsx just copy the increment button and paste it inside the increment component remove these things and from app.jsx just copy the decrement button and paste it inside the decrement component and then remove these things now what we are going to do is inside app.jsx we just need to import these two components so import increment from component then increment and in the same way import decrement also and then inside the app component just call the two child components now you can see app is the parent component and increment and decrement are its child components so we are defining the state in the app component and and its value we gonna change from its child components so now create a function which will be later on pass as a prop inside the increment and decrement component we are giving the name as updated value and it will receive the new result as a parameter this function will perform the set result method to update the state so just call here the set result method and inside that set the new result which has come as a parameter in this function so what we have done here is we have created a function and in this function we are receiving the new result as a parameter and uh performing the set result method and passing the new result to update the state so now you just need to pass this function as a prop inside the increment and decrement component so the first prop is updated value and inside this prop we are passing the method called updated value here one thing i would like to tell you that the props and the value name it is not mandatory to be same you can have different prop name but for our convenience we are having these two as same do same for the decrement also and here we need to pass the value of the result so let's write like a prop result and pass the value result do the same 
for increment also inside the increment component we can receive the methods as a props so right here like props dot the method name or we can destruct the method from props like inside curly braces we just need to have this prop here and now we need to include an on click function like we do in our previous video it will take a callback function as a parameter and then and now we are calling the method updated value which we receive in the props and here update the result like we just need to write here result plus 1 and it will call the update value function so guys let's see it will work or not let's refresh it after clicking in the plus icon see it is increasing but the minus button is not working because we have not added functionality to it so let's make the minus button workable go to the decrement component and here also we have performed the on click operation so just copy the on click functionality and paste inside the decrement component here replace the plus with minus symbol hmm it is showing an error let's see what it is oh we have not destruct the props yet so let's destruct it and now i think it will work fine save it let's see it works or not refresh it okay after clicking in the plus icon it is increasing and after clicking on the minus button it is decreasing so guys finally our project is completed so if i sum up the things in the app.jsx which is the parent component we are defining the state and uh, creating a method which will update the state and passing that method as a prop into the child components and inside child components we are calling that method and updating the states so i hope guys you all understood how we can update a parent component state from its child component that's all for today we will meet in our next video till then keep coding